Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Blair Momentum. All right, y'all, uh, check it out. If you're new, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell so every time I put out a video, you'll be notified. And if you enjoy my content, please share. Okay, um, I'm answering a question, a very good question from a subscriber. Um, and he asked that... Um, if people are getting uh, diabetic test strips like One Touch, Contour, Freestyle Light, AccuCheck, etc., why don't they get the uh, generic kinds like from Walmart and stuff like that? You know, um, the no-name brands. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to make a good attempt at answering this question. You know. I, I'm a diabetic. I've been a diabetic since 2017. And this is how it went for me. And I speculate that this is also how it goes for other diabetics. Um, back in 2017, when I um, was diagnosed, what happened was is that I went to my doctor after I went to the uh, emergency room. And I got admitted to University of Chicago Hospital, and they informed me that I was a diabetic. You know, I was there for about maybe three days so they could stabilize me. And then I, I got an appointment with my uh, doctor, my primary care doctor. And uh, what he did was is that he, he just gave me um, a prescription. I was on uh, Lantus, Novolog, and uh, One Touch Ultra. And uh, so now, when I went to my pharmacy for the prescription, I didn't really care about what it was because I didn't know a lot about this. <clears throat> you know, I didn't know anything. So I just, you know, I just uh, picked up what he told me to pick up. So now, by that being said, I think the majority of people, when they... Uh, find out they are, are diabetic, that they get whatever their insurance pays for. You know, and that changes from time to time. Because I've had clients that they would get like maybe AccuCheck or Viva Plus and then they would come and tell me that they have something else because their insurance companies or the insurance company that they were with at that time didn't pay for that no more. So I think that Insurance companies are always trying to uh, find a cheaper route to, to save money, you know. And then, uh, depending on the market that you're in, I know that you have pharmaceutical reps and insurance reps that try to push different brands in different markets. Let me give you an example of what I'm saying. And the... Uh, I say like around the Boston area, they get a lot of freestyle lights. Here in the Midwest, we get a lot of uh, One Touch Ultras and Varials. Now, I've seen Contour before, like Contour Next and Freestyle, but nowhere near as much as I see One Touch, you know, and maybe some of Viva Plus here and there. Now, the thing is, is that I think that that has something to do with it. But I think mainly is that I don't think people either... I don't even think they even uh, realize or pay attention to what's um, out there as far as the generic brands. You see what I'm saying? So I think that when you see that, it's either because I think that they have no insurance and they can't afford, you know, the high price of these brands like Freestyle Lights and Dexcoms and all that stuff and Omnipods. You know, but um, yeah, yeah, that's what I think that that goes on right there. That's what I think goes on right there. So I think when that happens, they don't have any insurance. You know, now with people with Medicaid and Medicare, I think that it also depends on if you go on it after you become a diabetic, I think you may have to switch over to whatever Medicaid or Medicare has um, will pay for. 
a few years back, I had a client that I think um, was dropped from his insurance, you know, for whatever reason. But I remember once, this is back when uh, AccuCheck Aviva Plus 100 count was like going for $85. You know, you could uh, sell them for that much because wholesalers, that's what they were paying for them. And um, he asked me, uh, he said, uh, which one should I get? Now, at the time, I didn't know he didn't have any insurance. I told him, get those. Get the AccuCheck Aviva Plus 100 count. He said, all right, all right cool. So he went, he went up there and he said, man, uh, how much do you say you pay for him? I said, about $50, $55. He was like, man, are you serious? He was like, man, damn. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, man, these damn things cost over a hundred something dollars. And that's all you pay for them? I said, yeah, man. I was like, what's wrong? He was like, I ain't got no damn insurance. You know, man, I ain't got no damn insurance. So I was like, man, well, all I can tell you is try to get some insurance that pays for those. You know, and I even gave him an alternative. I said, get some uh, some uh, one touch hundred count, you know, uh, and see what those cost. He came back to me with the same thing. I said, well, my best suggestion to you is to get um, uh, insurance, you know, Medicare, Medicaid or something like that. But anyway, um, I think that um, it all depends on the, the situation, but I speculate that um, the uh, answer I just gave is how it goes for a lot of people. You know, I'm not an expert at this, but over the last five, five years, I have done some research. You know, and I remember talking to someone who's been doing this for about maybe 15, 20 years. And he was telling me about it, you know, uh, when I met him at his office. But uh, that's about it. I hope that I answered your question. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it here. Remember, you can't gain momentum without traction. All right. I hope you gained um, some knowledge from this. And I hope you gained value and saw value in this video and in this content. Uh, and remember, y'all, you know, you got 365 days to get it right. You know what I'm saying? You got 365 days to get it right. And on that note, until the next video, peace out and take care.